Today, we'll be cooking duck. We're gonna show you very easily how to break it down, how to preserve some, how to utilize all the fat, and even keep the bones for stock so we're not wasting anything. Let's get going. There's nothing better than being outside, hunting, fishing, and of course, my personal favorite. <laughs> That'll teach you. Cooking and feasting with family and friends. Et voila. Nailed it. This is all about cooking wild game and we're not wasting anything. So good. I'm Elias Cairo, and this is The Game Show. Duck, one of my favorite game of all time. Why it's so beautiful and one of the best games is because of the amazing amount of fat that is on a duck. Most game is extremely lean. However, duck and all the other waterfowl have this beautiful coat of fat on it to keep it warm because it spends a lot of its time in really icy cold water. What I'll like to start with is go ahead and trim off any excess fat up on the neck. We're gonna keep all this because we're gonna render it and slowly use it to preserve the legs, the confit. The taking off a wing, this is a little bit of a challenge for some people that haven't spent a lot of time around knives. What I like to do is go ahead and get in there and feel it. You're gonna see literally where the joint kind of moves a bit. And I like to go ahead and just cut right underneath, cut around the front there and come underneath, kind of get it freed up all around there. See that there, you got your nice little ball joint and then you're gonna go ahead and follow that straight through. Go ahead and free it. So now it's kind of important on the breast is we're trying to keep the entire breast covered with fat. So what I'd like to do is start with the leg and I get really close to the leg and open that up and pop that leg in there and you can see you got yourself your little ball joint. Come right in there, continue breaking it down. Real simple, take your time. I like to use a, a deboning knife for this. A little stiff, I don't like them too flexible because they can get a little squirrely on you. Then you're gonna go ahead and take your breast and right here we have the breast bone. We're gonna take our first cut and just trace right on top of the breast bone, right down the middle of it. Boom. Then you make a cut on each side of the breast bone, just using the tip of it. And then using it going nice and slow, keep your fingers away, you can pull to go ahead and make space on that. Just go ahead and slide it right down. Following the breastbone down, there. It's right there, that's a beautiful fat covered breast. There we have it. We have its beautiful duck legs with its thighs. We have its wings that we're gonna turn into confit. Uh, we have our duck breasts here that we're gonna score and try to crisp up and serve mid-rare. And then we have its uh, carcass here that we're gonna turn into stock. From here, we'll start setting the duck confit. That's a pretty basic process. We'll grab ourselves a pan, go ahead and throw the duck legs and the wings in that pan. We will uh, trim up the breasts here so we can get our fat going that we'll use for the confit. What I like to do is, remember I said I want to make sure that all of the meat is covered up. What you're kind of doing is just trimming the meat. Give it about a quarter inch around all the fat. Just do a little hatch marks. Gorgeous. Just like that. Ooh, I forgot about one little thing. Here we have what we call a tender. That I just like to fry up and eat. It's amazing and like little stir fries, but it's also really, really amazing. Lightly breaded, dropped in some more duck fat and kind of just eat like a chicken tender. That is actually what that is, is the duck tender. And score this the same way, just like that. Let's go ahead and get our stock pot up here. Go ahead and put the bones inside of the pot there. Any other bits that are coming off. There's also this little tiny piece of silver. If you use the tip of your knife and come through and put that right inside of your stock pot. So that will go and seasoning these beautiful pieces of duck, get them ready for confit and ready for the pan. Confit is probably the oldest, most common practice of preserving meat. That is you're salting your meat, you're seasoning it, you're getting it flavored, then you're slow cooking it in its own fat. And what that does is it cooks it all down to completely tender. It keeps it super duper moist. But the best thing about it is that you cover it all in fat and it preserves the meat. If you're slowly cooking something in its own fat, it stays super duper moist, unbelievably delicious, and you almost can't overcook it. I'm gonna toss this all around. There you go, you got it mixed up. Then you're gonna go ahead and wrap this and place it inside of your refrigerator. The next step, pull this out of the Refrigerator, as you call it, you get your pan that you're gonna confit in. Go ahead and clean off the vast majority of the spices. You don't have to be too picky because it is going to cook in fat. 
One thing I do like to add back into it is the garlic that I marinated in. We put those cloves right back in there whole. And this is the best part, cooking it in duck fat. Duck fat has slowly but surely been making a comeback. A lot of keto diets, people are loving these animal fats, fats without dairy. All we did is you would take the trim from this duck fat here, add a little bit of water in your pan, slowly but surely bring it to a simmer. This probably takes about an hour, never really boiling, and all the water will evaporate out of it, and then you get this beautiful, beautiful, beautiful duck fat. Um, go ahead and pour your duck fat right over. I also like to add a little bit more fresh herb. So bring it to a slight little simmer. All the fat will get clear in it. Put a lid on it, toss it in your oven, and check in it in about an hour and a half. So you'll know your duck confit is done with these wings. Um, you can honestly just pull the meat right off the bone. It's so delicious. Let's go ahead and get her going. What we like to do is go ahead and crisp up the fat side of it. Go ahead and drop her in. Look at that. You don't want it to be ripping because you want to slowly render it. We're going to put this in dry on this side. You will start crisping up some of those legs as well. Well, it's good. We're also going to do some croutons. We have this beautiful bread. Look like at that. What I love cooking about outdoors is I know it's just like you're enjoying yourself, right? You cook, you know, I cook for eating all the time in my house. Every time I get the opportunity to cook outside, I know I'm in an awesome space. I know people are gonna eat. I kind of cheat because I think ambiance is like one of the best flavors in the world. And if you're cooking outside, it's already better than like any restaurant vibe, pretty much. I like the wind, you know, like you're cooking and the wind gets kind of crazy on you. It's kind of just like another challenge, you know, it's nothing wrong with that. You know, one of my favorite things to do is to do this whole thing at duck camp or up at my buddy's cabin. We have like long burning fires outside. We'll get the comfy going in the morning, just put it off to the side of the fire and just slowly keep it simmering. And then as we get back from hunting, kind of midday, pull out the cast irons, put them over a fire and just repeat this whole thing. Ah, it's really, really nice. I'm so ready for hunting season. That's probably pretty good. We're probably getting pretty rendered and as crispy as you can right there. Duck, first and foremost, goes amazing with most fruits. I love apples with my duck. I also love radicchio, a bitter chicory. The vinaigrettes I make with this is gonna be super duper duper simple. Um, we got ourselves a little bit of olive oil and red wine vinegar. I'll put a little walnut in there. We're also gonna use some of this as a sauce over the top of it. I really love fresh chives inside of this. Big old pinch of salt, because hell, you know, mix it up. Go ahead and take out our crunchy duck wings. We're gonna take out some of this skin, some of this leg that's also going in there, and our beautiful croutons that are in here. We'll go ahead and dress the uh, salad. Ooh, it's looking pretty. I'll add the croutons now. Give it a nice little taste. Mm -hmm. Right on the corner of the plate, you got all those beautiful chunks of apple, crispy duck, duck croutons. Go ahead and put your entire duck leg rendered and crunched right off to the side there. Then go ahead and cut this. I like to kind of cut them on a bias. You can hear that crunchy skin on the bottom there. I kind of like to uh, lay them this way, if you will. And then the last ones, kind of flip them open so you can see how perfectly cooked they are. Vinaigrette off to the side here. Be gorgeous. There we have it. That's that entire duck turned to a confit and a beautiful breast and a great little salad. Quick questions for all the trivia people out there. What is a male duck called? Male duck? Drake. Male duck's a Drake. What's a female duck called? This is kind of disappointing. Anybody? Samantha? Oh, Samantha? Female duck's called a duck. Explain that to me. What is multiple ducks called? What is it called? If they're flying, a lot of ducks is called a sort of ducks. If they're on the water, true story, they're called a raft. There's something else. We'll look at that later. <laughs>